Miss Marie and this is Picking Up Steam at the Library. So today we're going to talk about how sharks float. We all know that sharks are massive animals. So we're going to talk about the different parts of a shark that allow them to float in the water. Sharks are very large animals. Great white sharks can be more than 20 feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. So how do these massive creatures float? There are a few factors that allow sharks to stay afloat in the water. Sharks have a skeleton made out of a material called cartilage, which weighs a lot less than bones. This cartilage makes floating in water easier. Sharks also have fins, which keep them moving and propelling forward in the water. This keeps the shark afloat. Sharks have a liver that is filled with oil. Oil floats on water because it is less dense than water. The oil in the shark's liver helps it float and gives the shark neutral buoyancy. Neutral buoyancy means an object in a liquid is neither rising or sinking, but maintains equilibrium. So today we're gonna to conduct an experiment that will help us understand how sharks float. So for this activity, the materials you will need will be a toilet paper roll, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, which I have already measured and put into this, and then a picture of a shark. I printed out this picture and then colored it. And then three pennies, some tape, one balloon, and then a bowl of water. So first we are going to tape this shark and we have printed out onto the toilet paper roll. So I have my tape. Okay. So I made my shark a little bit longer, so we are gonna fold those parts inward into the roll. So not only does the tape secure the shark to it, but it also makes it waterproof for when we drop it in our water. Okay, so the shark is now taped to the toilet paper roll. And so now we are going to tape three pennies to our toilet paper roll to represent the weight of the shark. And we're just gonna tape them on the back of our roll. Okay, so now the pennies are secure on the roll and we're gonna drop it in water and make a prediction to see if it will sink or float. So all we have is the roll with the pennies on it. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it sunk to the bottom of the bowl. So now we're gonna see what happens if we fill this balloon with our oil and then put the balloon in the toilet paper roll. And then we will see if it floats or sinks. So I have the oil in this um, squeezy container to make it easier to put in the balloon. You can also use a funnel if you have one of those. So this is a quarter cup of oil that I'm using. We're not gonna use all of the oil because we wanna make sure that it will be able to fit in our um, toilet paper roll. But that looks like a good amount. We'll tie our balloon. Oops. Okay, so now that the balloon is tied, we'll put it in to our toilet paper roll.
Okay, so now that it is in our roll, we're gonna drop it in the water and predict if it's gonna sink or float. I think it is going to float with our oil. Let's see. Yep, it's floating. Awesome, so this proves to us that the oil that is inside sharks' livers allows them to float in the water. Awesome. I hope that you enjoyed picking up steam at the library. See you next time.